How did dinosaurs have sex? Like, we know they were making dinosaur babies under the Mesozoic moonlight, but it's hard to know how they were actually getting down. Because with one exception, soft tissues and sex organs in particular never really get fossilized. And if they had dinosaur boners, they haven't withstood the test of time. But in 2021, paleontologist Jacob Vinther actually found something. It was this Pisaticosaurus in the Senckenberg Museum of Natural History in Germany. And that there is a cloaca. And cloacas are all-purpose holes on the backside of amphibians, birds, and reptiles. They piss and shit out of it, but they also use it to mate with each other. And the sex move for most birds is called the cloacal kiss. They touch their cloaca together and the male transfers sperm on over to the female. Some birds though do have a penis. Like ducks have a crazy hydraulic corkscrew phallus that falls off and regrows each year. And ostriches, for their part, have a lymphatic fluid-filled dong too. But this dog-sized dinosaur's cloaca has similarities to the cloacas of crocodilians. Like they had a nearby structure that they think was probably a scent gland for attracted mates. And crocodilians, for their part, have a permanently erect penis that's generally pulled back into their cloaca with ligaments. So it's possible that some dinosaurs could have had a permanently hard inside schlong too. Of course, there were actually tons and tons of different types of dinosaurs. So they could have had all sorts of unknown and varied things going on in their downstairs mix-ups. That's a really, really old Greg. Then you have these huge, horny, spiky, plate-armored dinosaurs. With all those spikes on the back of the Kentrosaurus, they probably weren't going at it proto-doggy style. So some scientists think that they may have assumed a position where the female lays on her side. Or maybe they went butt to butt. Or maybe they did the cloacal kiss on the ground like ostriches. Really, I don't know, but it's fun to think about.